This is Arnus Vale Cemetery. The 45-acre site began taking the dead in 1837. Sadly, the cemetery owners have done little to protect the site, and it is now falling to pieces. In 2001, the cemetery owner declared plans to develop a large portion of the cemetery to make way for a new project. But fortunately, the City Council recognised this architectural and spiritual landmark and bought the cemetery from its owners. With the help of the Heritage Lottery Fund, a charity is now working to restore the site. But restoration has not been easy, as Arnesvale depends upon donations from the public, and the site is prone to vandalism. In 2003, vandals broke into one of the cemetery buildings and dug up the graves inside. Despite all this, many Bristolians are still determined to see Arnus Vale restored. The restoration of Arnus Vale Cemetery is very important. It is a fascinating cemetery. I, I remember one of my first ever reports was from that cemetery, some 20, almost 25 years ago now, um, because it is, uh, as you'll know, the uh, the final resting place of the man considered to be virtually the father of modern India, Raj Ramahan Roy. And every year on the anniversary of his death, uh, people come from all over the world to uh, honour him. And I remember reporting on that back in the 80s. Um, and it gave me a sense then of the culture, the heritage, the importance of the site. Um, and there are many other architectural gems there. I mean, it, it, you just wander around and you think, my goodness, this is incredible. It is, it is far from an ordinary cemetery. Really important part of Bristol's history. Must be looked after. <laughs>